welcome to another vlog so it is almost 2 p.m in the afternoon and it's a rare occasion because it's a weekday and ricardo is home <laughs> He is taking off a day for his birthday. His birthday is tomorrow and we're going to celebrate. I'm so excited. You guys heard me talking of the place that we um, are going to have it at. Like I, we rented a small semi-private space for him tomorrow and then today he's home. So I was about to do my makeup and start recording Friday's video, which is another decluttering um, organization video, part of our spring cleaning home series, which transitioned into summer. But um, he was like, you know what, I'm really hungry. And I'm like, you know what, I'm kind of hungry too. Sometimes I forget to eat lunch, which hasn't happened in a long time. Ever since you guys were like, well, you need to get yourself and stop skipping meal. But like, I know. And it's like, it's so bad because when I skip lunch, I'm starving by dinner. And then I like binge eat and I eat really, really bad. So, and I'm going to make them some huevo rancheros and some frijoles. In the last vlog I showed you guys my neighbor brought me some vegetables from her garden which is so sweet and so cute it's like so adorable so I'm gonna make salsa with that this is like so much easier to get to I really like my new setup I filmed part of a um so I already filmed part of a kitchen organization and storage video what is this I still have to do a little bit more so I'm going to film the rest of it later on this week and that'll probably go up this following week um, and let me alright so now that we've washed all the veggies there oh my god these smell so good two of those There we go, huevo rancheros with the frijoles, with chorizo. Thank you, Sue, for all the veggies to make the salsa today. Oh my gosh, I still feel a little sick. It is a little bit later in the day, so things don't always go as planned. It is now six o'clock in the afternoon. I was supposed to film a video, edit it, and upload it by six o'clock. It is six o'clock now, and I'm barely going to start filming. And the reason for that is because life happens, you know? Like, I got really caught up in the sticker shop, and a lot of things sold out, which really scared me. And I was like, oh no, like, I want so many people to, like, get their hands on it. And, um... I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a really good thing that things were sold out, but I wanted a lot of people to get their hands on the stickers that have been asking for them. And obviously, it's a great thing that they sold out, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to restock on some. So for the beginning of the day, that's what I did. I restocked on a bunch of stickers, and I was printing and cutting them and doing all these things that I could to restock on them. And then it came down to lunchtime. I made lunch, which you guys saw earlier, and it was so delicious and good, but then Ricardo's home so whenever he's home I just feel so comfortable and I just want to like lay down next to him or talk to him or watch something with him or whatever so he was really comfortable on the couch and I was like you know what I'm gonna go sit next to him next thing you know I fell asleep and it's so hard for me to fall asleep without him like during the week if I'm extremely exhausted I won't sleep because I get anxious like I get like anxiety trying to fall asleep because I know that I have to do a million things. I feel guilty because I work from home and my husband's out working and he can't just take a nap whenever he feels like it. So it makes me feel like I should be doing something and I get very anxious to the point where I cannot fall asleep. Like I try so hard and I lay down. Sometimes I have like a headache or I don't feel that well. So I'll try to lay down and sleep and then I start feeling like anxious and I start thinking of a million and one things that I have to do. I'm like, no, I have to do this. I have to do laundry. I have to clean up the kitchen I have to do this like I have to you know 
edit this video or I have to answer back this email and I can't fall asleep. So as much as I try to, I just cannot take naps during the day. Um, so when he's home, I feel relaxed. I feel like... I don't know if I feel protected, I feel um, good, I feel relaxed, I feel like he's there with me and we both took a nap together. An hour and a half later I woke up and I started feeling really sick because I fell asleep with a full stomach which is not good. Just kind of had to let it pass and then I'm like I'm gonna do my makeup, I gotta get ready, I need to film this video because even though it won't go up today just because it's really late in the day, I will still edit it tonight even if it's like 1 or 2 in the morning and then I'll set it live to upload early the next day. If there have been days where I didn't upload on Friday, I always upload like the next day early in the morning so that way you guys have plenty of time to watch it, you guys get the notification because if I upload at 2 a.m. in the morning, no one's going to see it. Yeah, that is the current update. I'm going to begin filming this video. It is a decluttering video, which I'm so excited about. I am almost done in my journey of decluttering our house, which makes me really, really happy and excited. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, we're almost done with the video. So I turned off the lights and I'm going to let it cool in here because it got really hot. With the lights, we're going to take a break. Um, and we are going to go eat some pizza. We're going to order some pizza. I'm so excited. We are taking a small break from decluttering. We're going to eat some pizza. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I know this is not the healthiest meal and I don't even care. All right, go, go. We don't care. Is that your taco? Is that your taco that your mom picked out for you? Why do you go crazy? Why do you, oh my god, you look so cute with this taco. <laughs> it is two in the morning. Um, I wanted to spend some quality time with Ricardo um, because I've been busy all day and I haven't really been able to like be next to him except when we took that nap together, which is really cozy and nice. Um, so he went off to bed. We just got done watching an episode of Shameless. I love that show. It finally came on Netflix, so we were watching it. I love it because you see so many parts of Chicago. Um, so now I am going to transfer my files and I'm gonna try and do some editing. I'm really tired, so I don't know if I'll be able to edit the entire video, but I can at least edit half of it. And then in the morning, I'm sure Cordis gonna wanna sleep in so I can wake up early and then come down and edit the remaining of the video. I'm trying to get some balloons for him so when he wakes up, it has a big three and a zero because he's turning 30 tomorrow. Um, we're going to celebrate tomorrow night. And I got to see what time Party City opens so that I can go get him some balloons. I'm whispering like he could hear me. He can't hear me at all. <sighs> Morning! I look so funny. Let's see. I ended up falling asleep last night around 4 o'clock. Um, I just couldn't hold on any longer. I'm almost done editing my video. All I have to do is do a very small, well not small, a very short voiceover. And then I have to edit the thumbnail and I have to put in the um, information in the description box. Which can take like up to an hour, hour and a half. So I didn't want to stay up till 5.30 because I put my alarm up this morning to wake up at eight so that I can go pick up Ricardo some balloons. And I really thought he was going to sleep in because he went to sleep pretty late last night. I thought he was gonna sleep until like 10 or 11. Nope, he woke up and I was like, you're supposed to be sleeping. He got all cheesy. He's like, why do you have something for me? And I was like, just go back to bed. First up is Dunkin' Donuts. You guys know how much I love my coffee. So even though I went to sleep and I was really, really kind of exhausted, um, my mind just wouldn't shut off. I was thinking of like all these things that I could be doing. I was writing like a to-do list in my head last night. Does anybody else do that? I used to keep a pen and paper right next to my um, nightstand and I noticed that it's just kind of easier to write it down on my phone. So when I wake up, sometimes I look at the notes in my phone and I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, think of the weirdest things when I'm trying to fall asleep. And then I come up with really good video ideas. And then sometimes I come up with really great to-do lists. Good morning, can I get two medium iced coffees with mocha, cream, and sugar, and a sweet black pepper bacon okay. sandwich? Oh, I love being out when the sun is like so bright. 
it makes me so happy. Mornings are my favorite. I prefer mornings over nights. It's just like a fresh new day. And yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Let me tell you guys what I was gonna get Ricardo for his birthday and what I actually ended up getting him. So originally my plan was to get him some Lakers tickets. He is so excited that LeBron got um, drafted into the Lakers or not drafted actually. I don't know the proper terminology for this, okay? But LeBron is now playing with the Lakers. I'm pretty sure it was LeBron's choice, not just the Lakers. So LeBron is now with the Lakers. So I was trying to get him some tickets um, to a Lakers game when we go to California in December and I couldn't find any dates except December 25th and then a few days in October and I was like I'm pretty sure they have games like every other day or like at least more than once a week or once a month I'm like there's something wrong with the schedule so I texted his brother and I was like hey like I'm I can't find Lakers tickets like where can I look like is there a specific place I went to like the Staples Center website so his brother was like you are way too early they haven't even released a schedule so they're only showing like the games are playing for sure he's like they won't be showing them until sometime this month and I was like crap that sucks because I really wanted him to surprise him with Laker tickets I think that would have been like the best gift he would have been so excited like oh Man, it just ruined it for me. Like, Ricardo was so hard to get something for. He is and he isn't. He's very simple. He doesn't, like, ask for anything. And I love that about him. He's just like, you know, that's him. He's very, like, I don't need anything. He's like, I'm fine. But I know he would have, like, cried if I would have got him Lakers tickets. I'm so upset. So I was like, crap, I got to do something. So... I texted his brother and I was like, can you please direct me in the right direction? I need to find him like a really cool like gift. Like what do you guys like? What do you guys are like? I was like, what do you guys like? Can you please like leave in the comments down below? Like what would your husband absolutely love? Like what would be like his dream gift? And I was like, I don't know what to get Ricardo. Like I can't even get him like a cool pair of shoes because he doesn't even care for shoes, you know? He'll be like, oh, that's cool. I like it, you know, but he wouldn't be like excited. So I was like, I am, I don't know what to do. And then his brother was like, well, have you seen the play Hamilton? He's like, I heard it's really good. And I was like, oh, what have you heard about it? He's like, I heard it's incredible. Let me tell you, his brother is a really harsh critic. His brother does not like anything in this world. <laughs> I feel like he just, he's a very harsh critic. If he likes something, it has to be amazing. Like, so I was like, okay, if his recommendation is that it's amazing, then I I was like, that's good. So I was like, you know what? I'll give him like an experience instead of like a materialistic thing. That's what I really wanted. So that way you could have a really cool experience and I'm just really, really excited. I hope it's really good because I'm pretty sure that Ricardo hasn't heard of this play. Um, but he really enjoys theater with me. We both have seen like Phantom of the Opera. We saw Aladdin. Uh, there's one more that we saw. What did we see? We saw like the Cirque du Soleil. Oh my God, those tickets are amazing. Or those seats and those shows are amazing. The Cirque du Soleil are like mind blowing. Um, so we've seen several shows. And we also saw like this one play that's like written by Shakespeare and it was like a comedy based off one of the plays or something like that. They're called like the Something Wives. I don't know, but that was really good. We saw that too. So he really does enjoy watching Broadway and watching theater. All right, so we're here at Party City. Let's go get him some balloons. It's Ricardo's 30th. Hey, we are on our way to go get something to eat before we head out for the night. I got ready super, super quick. Super, super quick. Yes, I did. I think that was that was pretty quick for me. I straightened my hair and it took me a long time, but I did it. No, I think that was quick. I think I did it an hour and a half. That's all you gave me, an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I showered. I straightened my hair really good. Straightening is no joke. All right, so yeah, we're gonna go get something yummy to eat.
loves, I have not vlogged all day long. It's been a busy day. It is Monday. The last time I talked to you guys, we were on our way to Ricardo's birthday celebration. We had so much fun, a little too much fun. Ricardo paid for it on Sunday. In the morning, he just stayed in bed, relaxed, and I was just like taking care of him, and I made like some chicken noodle soup. It was good so that he can hydrate again. Um, but it was a really, really, really fun night. It was definitely a 30 to remember. I'm so glad that all of our friends and family came. And it was just so much fun. It was just such a good vibe to be around, like really amazing people who were just there to have a good time. And I spoke to my friend Stephanie. Um, on the phone and she's like thank you so much for inviting me and she said something to me that really stuck with me and just meant so much to me just like Belinda she's like from what I observed she's like for Ricardo's birthday like everybody was just there to have a really good time like everyone was just there like having a great time you know having conversations and just like dancing and talking to one another she's like there was like no drama there was just like nobody was trying to do anything like shady she, everybody was just there to have a good time and you are so lucky to be surrounded by people who genuinely love you so much and care a lot for you and Ricardo she's like and I'm happy to be part of that and like that just like I know that I have really great people around me and that just meant so much to me when she said that and I was like thank you so much Stephanie like I really really love you as a friend I was like and I love I'm trying to get over it and see if this guy is gonna let me go over and I was like thank you so much for being there like we just all had such a great time being around each other so that meant a lot to me my battery's gonna die story of my life. I got up super early to like work on my sticker shop. I went ahead and I shipped out all of the orders that came in. Wow, it was a lot. Thank you guys so much for supporting my sticker shop. I also restocked on some stickers, so that's available now. It's no longer 20% off, but you can still get 10% off if you use the code YouTube10, which is still a really good deal. Um, and then, yeah, so thank you guys so much for your support. It means so much to me. I love being able to share a, like a passion of mine with you guys. And then later on, on. I went to drop off the orders. I went to my mom's house. I had like lunch over there. She makes the best chile rellenos ever. Oh my god, it was bomb. And then um, we went to the bank together. And then um, I went to my sister's house and I helped her like watch her kids while we, she was like cleaning around because we're actually gonna get um, decorations together for Camila's baptism, which is my da my daughter. <laughs> which is my sister's daughter. I'm claiming them over here. I love them so much. It's my sister's daughter. She is three and a half months old. She's gonna get baptized this Sunday, or this Saturday actually. So I'm gonna pick her up right now. Actually, I'm gonna go to her house and then we're gonna drive together to the dollar store because the dollar store is the spot for party decor DIY. Let me tell you, we come up with some pretty great decor and it's all from the dollar store. I should make a video about it. We just finished making this. Look how cute it turned out. This is for the cards. 